Hello everyone, please like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'm out at the park. Um, out at the park again getting my exercise. And um I'ma put the camera on me in a minute once I pass um the pedestrian. But uh I'll get to talking then once I'm past. But um I feel very overwhelmed um due to the issues that I'm trying to learn how to live in an RV and people that already been living like this full time to know how to um, go about doing this. I can't stand that dirty ass um, keychain around my neck. But anyways, guys, I'm still trying to wake up because I was kind of out of it today. And I was like, I got to get some exercise today. I just feel overwhelmed. How about um, I finally was able to talk to an RV um, neighbor because I'm getting overwhelmed. I need to pay attention to where I'm walking it because it'd be shit like on the damn like some kind of animal bowel movement. I don't know what you call it, but it like it's finna rain too here in Georgia. But let me get to what I'm trying to say because I'm all over the place. And you can tell I've been exhausted because my eyes look like I just woke up. And I finally uh, was able to get it get um because i took my shower got my shower and it was just taking me a minute to get ready i was just exhausted today finally got in touch with a um rv um neighbor that's basically leaving and it's a lot of them be leaving from over there which this type of lifestyle you're gonna constantly be on the move but she was telling me don't go through a um u-haul truck if i want to move my um rv she was saying don't go through a u-haul truck she said go through um a towing service so man this <laughs> i'm finna have to really try to get with some other people that already live like this because she was saying you need to kind of get with the other communities that already live like this um she said and youtube is a good one and she said but you're gonna have to probably do a facebook group or whatever they already live like this which is a tons and tons of them but she did help me out a great deal she ended up giving me this it goes on top it kind of like she told me i gotta start um winterizing my uh camper so i don't have any busted pipes and stuff so i ain't gonna lie i see what the brothers be talking about when they said you need a husband you need a covering i'm like she the sister is overwhelmed i'm like this is too much <laughs> this is too much and even if you stay in a house or apartment now apartments are a little more easy going but even if you stay in uh when you stay in the house it's the same situation so it's a little different approaches but um man i see what the brothers are talking about you do need a man you do need a man because i feel like this is too much <laughs> and um she even the white lady was like even the edomite she was like she said, some things you're going to have to get on uh, somebody to help you with. She said, because I can't even do it all. And she said, and I'd be doing a lot by myself. But, um, man, she was telling me, it, like, if I want to move it, I need to um, not go that route through the U-Haul. Uh, U, uh, U -haul. And then she was telling me I got to put this on my pipe, on my water hose, um, to keep it um, so it won't be heavy. Something, something she told me, I don't even really want to deal with that because I really don't want to bother it. Like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But she said, after a while, like, if it get too cold, she said, all oh, that shit gonna freeze up. And she said, just use a portable heater. And she she told me why the um, RV... Let me show y'all look. She showed me why... She told me why the RV um, gas stove wasn't working. She said, the people that you brought it from, they wrong for that because they were supposed to fill it for you. I said, yeah, they tell me they don't do that when it's used, but if it's brand new, it come filled. She said, yeah, they weren't supposed to do that to you. But um, she's like, but they are right. Um, that that can make the um, RV gas stove not work when it's empty. She said, so that's all it is. It's just empty. She said, because if it's not um, igniting, when you pull on the pilot, then that means that um, that that's pretty much what it is. So when she went um, and looked into it for me, that's real creative. When she looked into it for me, she was like, um, she was like, yeah, um, she kept hitting on the tank. And I got two propane tanks, guys. I shouldn't have showed y'all when I was 
when I had her looking at it. But she was like, yeah, this is um empty. She said one of them is definitely empty from what I can see. She said, and I don't understand why they got it turned to one way and then got it turned on the other one because you got two of them. She said, but it seemed like both of them are empty. But she couldn't really definitely give me an answer if both of them was empty. But she said one of them was for sure empty. So that explains why my R, uh, my RV gas stove ain't working. As far as like um, the other tank, when she pushed it, and I don't know what she damn did because she kind of turned it a certain way. And um, I'm not sure why she turned it that way, but she did show me how to get them out of there. And she was like, oh, yeah, she said, you're going to need some pliers to even get this out of here. So I'm like, I'm probably going to have to reach out to my mechanic and try to ask him to help me out. I'm going to literally have to call him and see will he um, come by my um, RV and kind of help me put this on and help me remove them damn um, propane tanks. I'm just going to have to break down and ask him because this is too much <laughs> this is too much and then she told me that i need to go back to walmart and get the oxy clean she said and um she said put a lot of water she said don't put a little water she said constantly put a lot of water in your um when you're flushing your uh toilet every time you're doing bowel movements and urination and um that's funny that she said that she don't use toilet paper guys inside of it and that's what i was telling somebody that i was talking to i said i do not put toilet paper even if it's the one that you're allowed to put down there because that can mess with it so i don't put that down there or i don't use none of that shit so she told me i was doing right she said because that's what she does she don't put that down there she said all she put down there is um she said all she put down there is um what i'm trying to say is um feces just waste and she just put her uh after she wiped herself she put it in the uh in a um recycled uh grocery bag and that's what i had been doing for years even at my house and that um longevity, longevity for your toilet a lot of people don't agree they just put it down the toilet but hey i'm like the edomite it, it's longevity um on your toilet where it's it, which your toilet will last longer and flush better and um it'll help with especially living in an rv so that i found out that that i was doing that right but right now I'm still trying to figure out um, how to how to dump it because she she told me that when they set up my RV and I asked them about my um, RV um, title, them fools gonna talk about um, that Deborah sent it out his um, his assistant named Deborah and I'm gonna have to call back on Monday to find out when they sent it out and that if I have questions let him know. I'm like, my main question is that RV gas stove that you already told me it might be the propane might be out. I said, but now I'm still dealing with me not having the RV title. He gonna tell me, cause when I was trying to tell them to send it to my private USPS box, UPS box, not USPS. They gonna tell me, oh yeah, we can't send, um, you gotta be at an extra resident, resident. Um, and since you still live in there, you haven't officially moved. We have to send the title there by law. I was like, yeah, but I'm regular telling you I'm not going to be there. And I already moved. I'm in the process of moving the stuff out to the new, to the RV. I said, and this is my new address. You need to send it there. And it's an actual address. People that are living like nomads, y'all know what I'm talking about, where they give you an actual address. But what I'm learning, you can't say that to people. You just literally got to just tell them, hey, this is my address. This is where I live at and then keep your mouth shut because what they'll do is they'll fuck you up and then be sending your mail somewhere else and you, you don't live there no more now you got an issue with getting it so he said when you put the forward address in he said you should receive it he said but i'm gonna do the um he said when you call back monday deborah be in and she'll let us know what day she sent it and we'll get the status on the uh tracking I'm like, y'all better do something. I'm going to be calling y'all ass until I get my damn RV title. Once I get through all of these cranks and nannies of all of this overwhelming ass shit, and then I learn how to live this way, it'll start becoming more easier while I learn how to how to maneuver. But right now, it's just all overwhelming, and I'm just going to have to pray or whatever and write in my prayer journal 
and then the most high he'll 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 ease the burden and make it more light all i gotta do is just t talk to him have a little talk with the most high and he'll he'll make it right abba yah make it right he'll make it right he always does because this right here like the most high tell you don't um let all of this stuff you don't supposed to do that you supposed to calm down collect your thoughts tell me exactly what's going on and then i make it right and y'all can tell i've been out of because my eyes are puffy like i had been sleeping i had i slept pretty good <sighs> but i did feel overwhelmed after talking to that either my it was just way too much information to retain and she said when they did the walkthrough she said they were supposed to show you all that i said yeah they um pretty much showed me the rundown but you when you just living like this for the first time it's too much to take in all at once uh yeah i just wanted to count it, which y'all can't really see a lot because there's nothing much out here they have pecan trees out here too so i'm gonna start collecting pecans um during their good seasons guys i apologize it's real noisy because the park sits off the highway so it might be noisy when I was talking earlier and now. But um, I'm finna do a little bit of exercise and stretches out at the park and then write in my prayer journal all this stuff that I got going on. And again, she told me I need to go to Walmart to um, put in clean, to put in OxyClean and some type of winterized um, knob thing that goes on top of it so it won't freeze during the winter and I'm I still don't know what she talking about but I did write it down because she made me write it down and then she was like yeah I don't like this RV part and I said everybody keep complaining about the RV part that I'm at she said yeah I don't like it it's noisy she said and they went up on my rent um so she had her um her RV hooked up to her truck and was ready and already had it locked up and she left and she took her trash and it's a good thing I caught her because she was basically living and the other people that was helping me, they pretty much finna be leaving in two more or three more months. So I'm gonna ask them again. But she told me that um, the black water and the gray water tank when I'm um, emptying out my waste and the gray water tank is for your um, kitchen and um, your shower. And then the black water tank is for your bowel movement and feces and waste from your toilet. So she said, basically what they told me at the office that you have to push that in I think when you push it in, you close it, and when you pull it out, you um you open it. So I think the black water tank, she said it was open and it wasn't supposed to, so she pushed it back in to close it. Which I don't know if she closed it or opened it. I don't I don't know. I'm confused which one closed it or open it. Cause even after she told me, I still was confused. It's because I don't live. I never live like this. So I gotta learn it. It it'll, it'll it'll get in my head and then I know it. But um, she was like, yeah, it don't supposed to be like that. And then she pushed it in for me. And so she was like, when you use the toilet, she said, constantly put a lot of water in it. So it's it's not, so that bowel movement and feces is not being stuck. She's like, because, and I ain't gonna lie, I've been, I had been putting those pots in there weekly. So hopefully that helped out. And then I filled it up a few times um, and flushed it, a whole bunch of water. So after she told me it wasn't supposed to be pushed out it wasn't supposed to be out it's supposed to be pushed in and she was like oh my god she said that was not supposed to be like this she said you need to go back in there and um put a whole bunch of water in your um toilet and flush it down that way it'll um eat eat at it and kind of make it flow so won't then be stuck um from uh and 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 pushed up but like the feces is nasty but i gotta explain it that way it won't be stuck and mounted onto the like on the tank as it's flowing out in this time and she said don't wait for it to be filled she said just go ahead and um dump it so i'm like damn that's why i was asking you to help me do that why i was asking you about that so now i gotta um pretty much and that's why i'm confused because i'm like i thought i was dumping it when i pull it out so I'm going to have to just go online and try to uh, understand how to um, empty my waste or whatever. And like she said, don't ever wait. But I'm I'm, I, I'm a digress, guys, because I feel overwhelmed talking about it. I'm just going to stop talking so I can kind of just relax. And when I leave the, um, when I leave the uh, 
park, I'm going to go ahead and go to the Walmart so I can try to figure this out. And then I'm going to go online to understand more. Um, Because she said I need to go to the RV um, dealer, excuse me, dealership because they're the only ones that sell it. And um, my lights, um, too, my RV lights, they are specialty lights. They um, went out where my kitchen is, but I um, went and brought the battery lights that I can mount up. So I be using those because I got lights all through there, but then they blow out. And those bitches are expensive to replace. And she told me I need to winterize hose. And I just said I ain't going to talk about this. Y'all just noticed that. But um, it's a winterized hose that's winterized and it got something on top of it. It's insulated. She's telling me I need to get one of them, and that bitch costs like $75 to $100. I was just like, I feel overwhelmed. And then she said the pipe that um the water flow out of this belongs to the RV park. She said, you need to put something around that too so it won't freeze up. And when she was telling me all that, I was like, this is a lot. I'm going to have to get um my mechanic out here to help me out. And then I also need him to fix I need wheel barriers on both sides of my tires and then I also need my check engine light to come off because it's back on again so I gotta get him to help me with that and this stuff with my um RV so yeah I do feel overwhelmed and that's why I'm just gonna um this is we the most I be getting on us about that we don't supposed to get overwhelmed but this is long as hell I'm gonna have to um end this see y'all later